Hey everybody, it's Jackie. Um, I am live right now from my studio and I wanted to show you what my awesome husband and I did today. Um, as you know, um, I've still been working on my studio a little bit. I needed to put a design wall up and my thread racks and guess what? They are up now and I wanna just show you. So I'm really excited. So there is my design wall and I put a few things up on it just to make it more colorful. Um, the hedgehog quilt there was from my friends when I left Connecticut. Uh, each of my friends made a block and signed it. I love it. And there's some blocks I'm working on and some little quilts, but I'm going to give you an up close view of my design wall. So I used, I know people are going to ask me how we did it. So let me just back up a little bit. So if you can see, they are, um, two eight foot by four foot insulation boards. I wrapped them in an anti-pill fleece by David Textiles. And I basically wrapped them and just duct taped them to the back. So they're nice and smooth. And then what we did was we went to Home Depot and I got a composite molding. It's kind of pretty, isn't it nice? So it's a composite molding, it's not wood, so I didn't have to prime it or paint it or anything. And what we did was we put these furring strips here behind that are the width of the board, you can see. So the board kind of slides right in there, and then the molding, which is higher than that, holds the board in place. So I have no nails or screws or anything in the actual boards themselves. So the only place, so we've got this really nice decorative trim here. And basically that's the same thing we did to the top there. It's really hard to see, but there's the top. So, um, and it really didn't cost all that much to do. Uh, and it went actually pretty quickly. So we nailed in, we nailed these furring strips or screwed them into the studs actually. So we screwed them into the studs at the top and the bottom, and then we put the composite molding in, and we just used finishing nails in. We still had just have to cover those holes up, but we put the um, finishing nails in, and I picked this, this molding out. They come standard eight foot lengths, and since the um, boards are four foot, so you can see where they come together, they're four foot wide. Since the boards are four foot wide, the eight foot length of molding works out just perfect on the top and the bottom. So I have no screws, no nails, nothing in there. So the quilts that I have on there are not hiding anything. They are just on that anti-pill fleece that I had, that I used to cover the boards. And I am in love. It seems like my studio is becoming complete. Then we also were busy this week. We put up our thread racks. So actually, let me close the shutter so you have a better view. I put, as you can see, we got the plantation shutters on my window so that I can um, let light in or let light out. So we put my thread racks in. We spaced them away from the, the design wall there so that I can, you know, fully use the design wall. And then um, we put six racks right here. And yes, they are mounted in the studs. And then my son, I love you, Brian. He says, oh my God, so many threads. <laughs> then we put, uh, we had to put one here because we had spaced this away from the wall. Uh, so anyway, so as you can see, um, my studio feels very complete now. So I'm so excited that there, there is the uh, long arm. Everything's nice and complete and I can't wait this coming week, I'm gonna be putting uh, some new projects right up there on my design wall. Cannot wait to start putting projects up there because I was using my design floor, which I absolutely adore my rug, but, um, and I know you'll ask again, for those of you who haven't seen the rug, I got it from overstock.com, but it really doesn't play well when you're using, um, putting, blocks and stuff on there, it's kind of hard to see them, but on the design wall, the white design wall, um, you can see everything. So um, again, it's David Textiles Anti-Pill Fleece. It's a 60 inch wide 
so I just needed one bolt of it to cover each um, insulation board. So if you're just joining now and you want to know how we did the design wall, go back to the uh, beginning of the video and I go over everything and how I actually made the design wall. My husband was awesome today uh, and we are just pleased as punch now I can work in there. So um, I, if you just let me know and uh, I will be happy to answer but I, I um, can't believe I have it up there now. And you can see behind me, I hung up two of my kitty cat clocks there. So we're still hanging up a few things around the room. Can't wait to get it all finished. But now I feel I'm complete with my design wall and my thread racks up. So anyway, thanks for joining me. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Have a great weekend.